Second. Yeah, perfect. So uh, here is swatches of all the Schmincke super granulating series. Uh, they are the part of the Horgan professional range of watercolors, and uh, I would say that uh, they are its gem. Uh, they, uh, these colors, these super granulating colors, uh, include 25 colors, and they are grouped into five series. Uh, first series I'm going to tell you is Deep Sea. Uh, here is the swatches. They are vertical. And uh, as you can see, they are blue and green colors. Uh, they are perfect for painting seas and oceans. Uh, the next uh, is Glacier. Uh, Glacier, uh, they are cold and fresh colors, and they are really good for painting mountains and ice. Mountains are my favorite part of painting and my core subject, uh, so I love uh, Glacier series very, very much. Uh, then Galaxy. Uh, Galaxy are uh, deep and very beautiful shades of violet, uh, pink, and uh, these colors are really cool for painting space and galaxy. Uh, then Tundra. Tundra is a very complex colors. They are dusty and they, uh, as you can see, they are shades of nature. And uh, forest, last but not least, uh, it's a huge diapason of greens. So you can see that they are cold, they are warm hues. So as you could already understand, the names of all series were chosen to be natural and to reflect the typical color scheme of similar sense. Uh, and uh, uh, in production of these colors, Schmincke used the principle of combining at least two pigments. I have uh, these, uh, these swatches with the pigments. Uh, and uh, these pigments uh, have been used in Schmincke watercolor paints before. But in this series, these pigments are specially selected. And the main principle uh, is uh, combining the pigments that uh, have a natural tendency to granulate. So it's a natural property of the pigment and it's really important. Uh, these pigments are combined to look harmonious together and uh, several paints, uh, for example, uh, forest, uh, forest gray or glacier green uh, uh, fall apart into several pigments. And I'm showing you glacier green and could you believe that this is really one paint? Uh, it fall apart into blue and brown, and it's really amazing. I, when I saw it, I couldn't believe that it's possible. So, uh, this idea to combine natural and granulatic pigments uh, is unique. So, Schminke are unique, and there is no alternative to such watercolors on the market. Uh, and they create really crazy watercolor washes, and uh, later I will, of course, show you. Uh, and uh, one important thing about watercolors uh, is their light fastness. Uh, all, all these watercolors have light fastness uh, four and five stars. It's the highest light fastness, and it's really critically important uh, for me as an artist, and I think for you either. Uh, they are mostly semi transparent and semi opaque. And uh, I can tell you a few words about uh, form factor. Uh, all series are available uh, in tubes uh, only. So now there are no pens. Uh, these tubes are rather big. Uh, they are 15 milliliters. We can see, yeah, they're 15 milliliters and they are so separately. If talking about smaller tubes, I want to show you the novelty of this year. Uh, this is Schminke super granulating sets. I will show you the boxes and look so, so cute. I love them. Uh, and um, they are packaged in a cardboard box. And uh, these are my paintings. Uh, so 
<laughs> I love them and I'm really honored uh, to test uh, these watercolors and to paint uh, the illustration for the sets. So, and now I'm going to start my demo. I will get that away. And um, ah, I will tell about uh, the colors that I will use today. Uh, today I'm using only super granulating colors. Uh, of course, uh, these watercolors could be mixed uh, with uh, another uh, main corridor series, but uh, I thought that it will be interesting for you to uh, it was interesting for you to see uh, the them in clear in clear form. Uh, so. Uh, the core subject of my art are mountains, and uh, especially snow mountains. So today I'm going to paint exactly snow mountains. I'll show the reference photo. It's like here. And uh, about the colors. Uh, my palette uh, always consists of many, many blue hues. Uh, by the way, uh, I will briefly show you my dot card. And uh, as you can see that among 12 colors, there are four blues. Why it's important for me? Because I mix uh, opposite colors, uh, neutral colors uh, on the uh, blues and uh, orange brown group. So uh, I'm using in mountains, in snow mountains, mainly uh, blues, uh, orange uh, and brown. So today, I'm going to show you uh, this plot. I can, mm, I have already, uh, mm. so <laughs> about the colors. Uh, the first color that I choose for today's demo, it's glass, uh, Glacier Blue. Uh, it's a very deep color and I love it. Then I want many blues, so uh, I'm, I have decided to choose uh, three blues from this super grand uh, line and I will be using uh, tundra blue, it's very dark and complex, uh, and uh, white tundra blue because it falls apart uh, into pigments of blue and brown and it's very useful for the mountains because mountains consist of rocks uh, blue is the color of the shadows on the snow so it's it's very useful uh, now um uh glacier blue as i've said it's uh, like uh, a very dark blue and then galaxy blue uh galaxy blue uh it's kind of very tender blue and i will need it for the sky uh, then uh, I will talk about uh, the mixes because uh, I'm, as I've already said, I'm mixing blues with browns and oranges. So I will be using tundra orange. Uh, it's really orange and it mixes with the blue in a very um, pleasant gray. Uh, and I need gray for shadows. And then uh, I will use galaxy brown. It's like here. And the last, I think, but not least, uh, it's Galaxy Violet. Uh, frankly, it's not necessary in, in this plot for me to use uh, this color, but I love it so much. I love it uh, in the washes. So I will be using this. So uh, let's start. A few, uh, few words about uh, the details, uh, about my other materials that I'm using. Uh, I'm now painting on Hannemühle watercolor. Uh, it's uh, the collection and the size is 24 to 32 centimeters. Uh, about the brushes, uh, I'm Da Vinci Ambassador, so I'm using only Da Vinci, and uh, I will use Casaneo, uh, I will use Casaneo Mini, and uh, I will use uh, Dartana and Spin Synthetics. So, I 
have prepared uh, the pencil sketch uh, to, uh, to have not to waste time, uh, but it's really simple. Uh, and uh, it's just the silhouette of the mountain. Uh, it's uh, uh, just uh, the areas where shadows would be. And that's all. Uh, it's about, it takes about five minutes. Uh, but now when we are having demo, I thought that it will be easy for you to uh, draw the sketch. So I begin always, I think always with the sky uh, and the sky washes. Uh, I'm doing mostly wet on wet. So now I'm just painting the sky area with the clear water. And okay. And I'm just I will drop off the tubes uh, because I need a few moments uh, for my paper to take on the water. And now I begin with the sky. It's galaxy blue. And uh, for blue, not to be so bluish, I take a drop of brown and mix it with my blue. So it won't be so, so bright uh, because it, it's not natural for me now. And I began just to wash my sky. Uh, it's like another blue. And I'm mixing my blue in my blue. Uh, to receive different tones and different everything. And now it's time for my uh, brush. Uh, it's frankly, it's a makeup brush, but I use it for mixing the pigment and for creating like blush, like blush uh, brush. And frankly, it's a blush brush. I don't want my sky to be the main part of my image. And now I'm mixing my blues uh, with the orange to receive a kind of gray color uh, because I have, uh, have clouds. And now, I'm applying my gray color to the dark, uh, to the lower part of my clouds. I'm using several brushes because in one brush I have uh, my paint and other brush is just water. So, and this part. And uh, it's important for me uh, that uh, these colors mix uh, in blue with gray. Uh, now I'm using Tundra Orange uh, because uh, I'm using grays very much and uh, that it's important for me that blue with orange or brown uh, gets me a result that I want. And tundra orange uh, is now the most favorite part uh, for me of tundra series. And then I just, just applying Yes, guys. 
and I can already see that the process of granulation begins. Uh, I have uh, no, I have known about uh, many artists that don't like granulation in the sky. Uh, later, if we have time, uh, after the demo, I'll show you my paintings where, uh, with the granulation, uh, so you can see where it could be used. And now I'm just doing the dark, uh, darker part of the sky. And again, I'm doing it with blue. So, and I will take a closer look to my painting so you can see that the paint begins to work. And uh, I can see here that there are part of granulation. I think it's gorgeous, really. Now, I'm going to add some details uh, to my mountains. Uh, it will be not the darkest uh, part uh, of my shadows, but I need shadows. So I'm taking another one, blue. It's like tundra blue. So uh, the main principle of my technique of painting snowy mountains is mixing <laughs> every blue you have with brown and orange to receive different neutral tones. And, and now I want, yeah, and again. I'm carefully looking to my reference photo because it's important. Yeah. And I think that it will be. I'm just creating uh, some shadows. Uh, I can do it wet on wet uh, and I can do it with uh, applying uh, the clean brush and wa just washing and I prefer, now I prefer exactly this way. And I think here. And uh, one parameter that is uh, important for me uh, is the transparency. And you can see that these paints are really transparent. Uh, of course, uh, it's said uh, that they're semi-opaque and semi-transparent, but <laughs> personally, I find them really transparent and I love them. And now, okay, I'm doing some shadows here. He would be the darkest shadow, so I don't need to have uh, shadows here. And now it's part. I want to have uh, the effect of the snow, so I'm mixing more bluey tone. I'm taking my guard brush and thirty seconds, <laughs> and you have the snow here. And I'm careful with the white areas because I need uh, uh, some places to be really white. Uh, and uh, as you know, white in watercolor uh, is uh, the um, paper. And now uh, I need to dry my, uh, my washes. So, oh, sorry.
And uh, I will shut my camera a little bit down so that you can see it more clear that I'm painting. Is that okay? I think that it will be really more helpful. Okay. Yeah, so I think now it's better. <laughs> yeah. And I'm beginning to wash my shadows area. And this is time for blues. Uh, this is time for my violet. And this is time for very, um, very toned uh, paint. Anna, and very smooth. Upside mm -hmm. down. Upside down? What do you mean? Uh, you need to turn the camera once again. One second, please. No worries. Is this okay now? Uh, yeah, yeah, better. Yeah. Amazing. Now they are because... back in the right direction. Now we are not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, sorry, because uh, I thought that it it should be more more visible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm beginning uh, the the wash part. And I'm mixing my blues in a very uh, tough paint. And uh, now we'll begin the magic. I'm mixing violet with blues with the uh, brown. And the paint is really thick and it's important. And now I'm beginning to wash. And I love this moment very much because now paint works for me. Because not, I'm painting of course, but the paint that begins to granulate, it really is working. And now I'm doing multiple wash with the paints I have on my palette. I can, I can do the clear, clear violet places, clear bloom place places. And I think now you can see that the paint begins to granulate again. Uh, and uh, it looks amazing uh, in the dark places where it can, it's really seen. And I love this very much. Now I am applying really the most dark places of my painting. It will be the darkest shadows. Okay. And 
I need to have my places here. And uh, I can do it with the wet and wet, but I prefer to do it with my paper dry. Again, violet, again, blue. Look at this part. Here I have some places that are really very bright and sunny, so. Okay, and now I'm going to the left part of my chain. By the way, it's Kafkazus, uh, it's a bruise, uh, it's Postahova rocks, and uh, I love this place very much. I don't want this edge to be so thin. So now I am washing it with water. And that, and the darkest part, it's like, yeah. And I would love to have the border of my snow to be seen more clearly. And that's why I am painting this border. Okay. And I think this part also. Hmm, I have forgotten this part.
yeah so uh, here is the shadows part and uh, again the granulation walks and see how gorgeous it is so this washes <laughs> yeah and now i am going to paint the stones for uh, exactly for stones uh, i need uh, my brown uh, and orange uh, colors uh, because i'm mixing grays and darks uh, dark dark colors uh, on the mix of brown and blue and then i'm just creating some really deep deep color and i will need a towel and i begin to use the dry brush and thick paint in the process of creating the stones. And I'm using my fingers to smudge the paint. And I can use uh, for these purposes uh, black, some black uh, from, um, I love uh, black from the Galaxy series and from Gaultier and from Lipsy, uh, but I, in mountains, I prefer not to use black because it can give kind of not clean places. So my mountain begin to look like mountains. And Uh, what I'm doing now uh, is stones that are covered with snow. We have already painted snow and now it's time exactly for these small details. I also want to do stones uh, on the foreground. So I am doing 
uh, having my brown. And looks like it will be here and here and here. And now I'll take the plastic card and And the mock must dog places here. Okay. But I think that my mountains would be <laughs> kind of empty uh, if I have here no skiers. So now I will paint the skiers uh, and I will paint them uh, in a very, very small, small scale uh, because I want to add that the mountains are huge. Is it okay? And I am painting these keys. And I need to have uh, the shadows from my skiers because just like shadows on the skis. So, and now it's time for the final details. And I want to have some splashes for splashing. I'm covering my sky. I think I'm also covering my snow because I will be splashing with a really dark paint and I don't want my, my dark paint to be on my snow. And splashes. And some final details. Okay, so I think that now I will finish. And uh, we have a little time. Uh, so I want to show you uh, my paintings where the granulation is used. One second. I will... Uh, Uh, so, uh, it's uh, originals, uh, and uh, I can show you the close look to the places where the granulation is, so that you can, uh, so that you uh, will understand that granulation is really super cool because uh, it allows your paint to paint uh, not to love you; it paints by herself. 
and here in the places uh, it's granulation uh, in the sky and uh, here I use these washes for creating texture. So, and like here, you can see granulation also. Okay, so frankly, the last painting I want you to show uh, it's look. And it creates a real interest in the image. So now, I will turn my camera again on me uh, and uh, I'm ready to answer your questions. Well, Anna, I'm uh, right now leaving and will pack my, my skiing equipment and go skiing. Which yeah, is yeah. Fantastic. I mean, looking to, uh, looking at the developments from just a pencil stroke and then you're going in the, the slopes. Fantastic. I mean, yeah. I really want to leave now and just go, go skiing, but. Uh, I mean, you had these celebrative days. This won't be possible. No, um, just thank you very, very much um, for for all these details, for all uh, your explanations in the in the very beginning about our hard and paints. What makes them really special? And you you've talked about it at one point. You you really showed that. And this makes it even more more precious and and uh, really really thankful for for that. Uh, from the chat, we we've been receiving overwhelming uh, feedback on on yeah. that uh, on your, your painting. So just want to to forward that uh, directly to you. Thank um, you. I'm really good. I I assume that many are now uh, wishing to go skiing, but yes, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We so. <laughs> Uh, but let's see. Um, there's been a, a question about uh, about the paper you've been using. Um, would you like to explain that uh, once again in just in, in a couple of words? Yes. Uh, yes. I'm using 100% cotton paper. Uh, it's Henny Mulli, the collection series. Uh, and the texture is... Uh, I can show you. One second. I can show you the cover. I think it would be really easier. Yeah. Okay. So this has been a, a frequent asked question. And I mean, you, you've explained the super granulation colors, your special selection, what you, what you really want to, to highlight different things. I mean, some years ago, granulation has been not really well known, but for artists, it's it's a special characteristics, and you you've been perfectioning that in your your paintings. So I'm I'm really loving that uh, and and uh, seeing that live now. I have another question from the chat. How much water does it take for the granulation to manifest? Part of the mountains you draw wet on dry. Is this amount of water enough? is asking Alidel. Did you understand uh, well? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, uh, of course, granulation uh, creates uh, the most uh, stunning effects when it has the water. Uh, because granulation, uh, in fact, is a physical process and we need the water to be um, uh, to be on the sheet, uh, but when I am creating, uh, uh, when I'm painting, not wet on wet, but wet on dry, I have my water in my paint, and uh, this water in my paint uh, allows me to do um, granulation or by painting on, on dry. 
Okay, thank you. We have two more questions. Uh, they're were asking if you can show your painting again and we, uh, the painting you, you painted today into the camera. And another question, have you ever used a granulation medium? Uh, yes, I have used a granulation medium uh, and uh, I love the it uh, and uh, I think a year ago I was I published a review about uh, granulation medium. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I think uh, it can be on Jackson's art and blog. Uh, but uh, if you have the question, specific question, I can always answer them via Instagram. Uh, my uh, nickname is Draw Better, and please write me and do it, and I will uh, uh, show, send you the link uh, with the, my review to this granulation medium. Yeah, we have pop published the draw better insta account already. Uh, uh -huh, okay, so uh, here is it. I, I don't want to change my camera again. Uh -huh. uh, so here is my painting. Amazing. There have been a lot of requests on, on the painting. So will it be on sale? Where can I get it? And um, so direct message to you for, for any further proposal on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think, yes, I think it will be more appropriate. All right, is there anything? Yeah, and um, just a, um, some general thoughts on, on the supergranulation and their availability. Um, you, you've mentioned the, the tubes in 15 mil, uh, mm -hmm. which are uh, available in, in three or, and five series. So we have um, deep sea, galaxy, um, and glacier. Uh, and now new is tundra and forest, uh, available in 15 mil. And you've mentioned the, these precious uh, little sets we have, and they are all uh, available um, as of now. So just contact uh, your retailer of trust, and he uh, he has the direct connection to uh, to us, and uh, they are available and ready ready to get shipped. What's your favorite color, actually, of the uh, in of the in all super grand series? Uh, for the super grand and in general for for the horror, what's your favorite color? Uh... I can tell you the most, my, my most used colors uh, is ultramarine finest, uh, of course, by Schmenke, uh, because uh, this, uh, uh, this is the most used color. I really uh, like using the tube for a month. Uh, and about uh, Super Grand Series, uh, I think that personally, my most loved color uh, is uh, Galaxy Violet, because <laughs> I cannot stand from it because it's really gorgeous. I love them all and all they have their advantages, but Galaxy Violet is... Yeah. That's amazing. I mean, just by listening to your words and how you describe a, a painting or a, a color shade, this is so fascinating. I, I mean... Thank you, you because you have, I really love it. You can, you can talk about it, you can paint with it and uh, this is just really fascinating to um, uh, to listen to. I have another question here. Anna, the dot card, your self-made color chart we, we uh, developed together, is mm -hmm. it seen on your Insta account too or can you post it again maybe? Uh, yes, uh, it can be seen uh, on my Instagram uh, but of course, I can post it again. Uh, so today, uh, after the demo, I will post it in the stories. Yeah, I'll post the link and uh, etc. And maybe you can post your painting from today too. Uh, post what? Sorry. The painting you painted today. Oh, yes, yes, I will post it. Okay. Together with uh, with the dot card. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Well. I will photo shoot and I will do it. Okay. Fine. Thank you. Thank you. I think no more questions here, or okay. all questions have been answered. So no questions from the chat. Um, yeah. 
And but everybody can contact Anna via Instagram, I think. <laughs> okay. Most of the questions will arise yes. after after thinking about what uh, what you've done, what you've said. Um, so feel free to contact Anna uh, directly, or if you have further questions uh, for um, to Schmieke, uh, feel free to contact us uh, through the uh, contact formulas on on our website. And Anna, once again, we are so so amazed by by your paintings by by the way you're presenting it by the love and passion you have for for the, for our painting uh, for our colors and it's it's a great honor for us to to have you in our team as a brand ambassador and we're really really looking forward uh, to to more projects on the super granulation and uh, not only on super granulation as it will be uh, surely a project to work on in the yeah. in Thank you. Everybody is loving you, loving you, uh, painting, love your colors, yeah, love your explanations. So thank you from everybody here in the chat. Uh, they are writing, we love Anna, we love her painting. <laughs> thank you. I'm really honored. And, <laughs> and from me, of course, too. Thank you. So much. Thank you, Susanne. <laughs> Thank you all, Schminke, because I really love Schminke and uh, I'm proud to be Schminke ambassador and I have already said that and I will say that again and again because Schminke are the best and uh, you understand <laughs> that. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Stay healthy. Stay healthy, everybody, and enjoy painting in the strange times. <laughs> okay. okay. Bye. As well from my side, stay healthy and uh, enjoy painting, have fun and uh, stay safe, uh, you, your families and uh, all together. Thank you and bye-bye. See you bye. soon.